Well, Greg, I appreciate you having me down here on uh, the lake today. I've uh, been looking forward to this. We've been talking about it for um, several months, and, and we got a pretty day. Uh, and you say you're on the, the bass today. And uh, one thing I wanted to mention to you, this is um, kind of groundbreaking for our Carolina Outdoor Journal. This is the first time that I've ever been filmed, hopefully catching a fish. And, and so I'm looking forward to it uh, after 28 years. And so uh, what are we going to do today? So we're going to try to catch some largemouth bass, and we, we found a good little school out here suspended, which a lot of times those are, can be difficult to catch. Uh, so the way we're going to do it today, we're going to use these slip corks, and we're going to try to put uh, live bait right in front of their face so they can don't have to expend too much energy. And, it, you know, at this time of year, they're pretty hungry, uh, but they, there's a lot of bait available, so they're not swimming around too much chasing it. So if you can get it right in their you know, strike eyesight, it, strike it, yeah, I think they'll so, come yeah. right up and get it. So that's going to be the key. And we've got them back here uh, in about 14 feet of water, suspended in about 10 or 12. Okay. So we've got these knots sitting about 10, 11 feet. Okay. And, and bait, what are we going to use for bait? So we're going to use primarily thread fin shad. Okay. Which so we ca okay. I catch those right here in the lake. Readily available on the lake. Yeah, you can okay. use bluegills and, and, and other small fish but with uh, the thread fin shad you can net those it's a little bit easier with bluegill you can use them but you have to catch them hook and line and mm -hmm. a lot more time consuming so but i've got a few of those too so we'll see what works and tackle better. rod reels yeah so so out here it's basically just a medium action rod uh 15 20 pound test this is a braided line here a 20 pound braided line and you know just a, a two to three thousand series Real works mm -hmm. great for these fish. Okay. Um, well, let's uh, bait up and, and see if uh, we have some interested fish this morning. Let's see if we can get your first one on film. That's right. There's a few different ways to. to hook these baits if you hook them through the back through the dorsal area like this they provide a lot more uh, vibration and flash so i always like to start with that the negative is they only take one strike and they get knocked off a lot pretty easy once you get the fish in here and biting then i usually just hook them through the through the nostrils okay or through the lips right up here so there's a little bit more for it to hang on to but to get started we'll we'll, we'll go with this and provide that flash down there see it You'll see it, um, just keep the bail open. Yeah, right in there. A little more. Right there, you see it pop up like that. Yeah, okay. Now when it goes up, right now, start reeling. And don't sit, sorry that took so long. <laughs> well, okay. Uh, yeah, that was, uh, that may be the quickest I've ever, <laughs> in a while, how about that? Oh yeah, how about that? What was that, four or five seconds? I don't even think the cork had a chance to um, no, see. How about that? How about that? Oh yeah, good fish. And you've caught mm -hmm. some big fish out here lately, right? Yes, I have. Uh, it's a lot of uh, four to six pound fish out here. Hopefully we'll that? get one here today. How about that? That's a nice one. Well, what do you think about that? Now that's, uh, that's a nice, nice bass. A few seconds in. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, mm -hmm. beautiful fish. All right, let's get let's do it again. All right. Yeah, I think there's a few down there. How about that? Mm -hmm. 